Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading. Uh, this is going to be for um, Libra. Uh, this is going to be for your August 2022. Um, we're going to take a look at your over energies regarding love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we'll take a look at your person to see what their current true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish it off with the uh, possible outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know. So just apply this to your own unique situation. Okay, keep in mind that these are... Um, uh, general messages. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Um, you can switch the roles if you want. This could be with a new person, old person, current person, okay? Um, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Um, keep in mind, these are collective messages for the collective uh, Libra people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energy, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so um, Libra, let's get started. Over energies for Libra, regarding love and the person that they are connecting with. What is surrounding Libra regarding love and the person that they are connecting with? For August 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Libra. What do we have for Libra here regarding love and the person that they are connecting with? For August 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Libra. Maybe the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the Four of Wands here. Okay. So there's a connection that you're dealing with where there's a lot of love here. So you could be deeply in love with somebody. Someone here could be deeply in love with you. It could be dealing with the twin flame here with the four of wands. And the high priestess and the two of swords. Cancer Pisces energy could be dealing with a water sign here. We have the uh, five of wands and justice. It seems like there is a situation where you're having drama here with somebody, but I feel like you're like cutting it out or that you're not paying any attention to it or that you're keeping quiet here. Because right now, it seems like you do love someone, but at, at the same time, I feel like you can't be with this person either. Yeah, because I don't know, I'm getting that this person's a bit of a nightmare. Okay, um, I don't know. Could be dealing with someone here that's really dramatic, that brings a lot of drama to the connection or something like that. But it just seems like with the Justice card, you know, you know, in the typical right away, you know, there's a sword and there's an energy of using that, you know, that person using that sword to cut something out, you know, deciding on something here. So I'm going to have the Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Why is the Queen of Cups here? All right, we have the Three of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles here. You know, I feel like you're surrounding yourself with really good people and I feel like you're just investing in, th in those connections. You know, this could be friendships, this could be family, or that this could be new people that you're meeting. But I feel like you're stepping away from drama or something like that. There's maybe one person in particular that you're dealing with that, that you're having a lot of drama here with. And this is a romantic partner. Tell me about the High Priestess. All right, we got the Nine of Swords. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here? And this Eight of Pentacles here. Wow. I feel like a lot of you guys are overcoming your stress and anxiety by meditating here. A lot of you guys are putting in a lot of effort and not pushing things away or running from things here. I feel like you guys are facing this head on, you know, because, you know, not every Libra is the same, but, you know, typical Libra individuals, some Libra individuals tend to avoid conflict, but I feel like you're nipping it in the bud. You're not avoiding it. You're facing it. You know, because I, I feel you know, it really stresses a, a Libra out, but I feel like, you know, Libra right now is working on this right now. Yeah, trying to overcome this. The Five of Wands here, the Two of Cups, the Justice, and the Page of, that's not the Page of Wands, Six of Wands. Is it, maybe there's some sort of d divorce proceeding that you're go going through right now. And I feel like if there's a divorce here, I feel like you're winning this divorce or something like that. Or that you're winning the settlements. 
okay? It does seem like there's a court thing that's going on here regarding, like, a court situ situation, okay? Um, yeah, yeah, it seems like a divorce. It seems like a divorce here. So that, that might resonate with one of you guys. Yeah, uh, that was really, really specific. So um, tell me about the person not... Libra is dealing with here. What is this person's current true feelings and intentions for Libra for August 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Libra. All right, Ten of Swords and the Strength card. We have the Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the King of Wands here in the Moon. Wow, whoever this is, this person has secrets here. This is someone that you're divorcing here. Could be an Aries Leo Sag here. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands and the Strength card. Seems like this person betrayed you because this person had poor self-control. What I'm getting here this is that this person could have cheated on you. Yeah, this person could have cheated on you. This person was following their lust. Four of Pentacles and a Knight of Cups. I don't know. I feel like this person has a lot of feelings towards you, but this person's not expressing it. This person's holding it, holding it back. So it could be a situation that this person is not okay with a separation, a divorce, or something like that. Okay? With the moon, Cancer, Pisces, Energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, with the King of Wands, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, with that Knight of Cups. Um, tell me about this Ten of Swords. Two of Pentacles. Strength. And the sun. So I feel like what was revealed is that this person was juggling you with somebody else here. Could be an indication at some point this person wasn't sure if they wanted you or not. I don't know. It seems like this person, you know, was looking for their happiness. And this person kept this a secret. And I feel like the happiness... Or the temporary, like the thrill that they were seeking was only temporary. It didn't really last. Leo energy with the sun. Tell me about the four of pentacles here. Why is this four of pentacles here? We have the queen of wands. King to the queen of wands. We have the knight of cups here. And the page of cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. You know, I feel like this is you still, you still love this person. But I feel like, like I said, you can't be with this person. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag. True pairs here, by the way. Kings of Queen of Wands. King of Wands here. Nine of Pentacles. The Moon. And the Ace of Pentacles here. I mean, maybe the secret is that this person had some, someone else here. Yeah, maybe there was a third party. But this could also be an indication that this person wants to come back towards you or something like that. Or think, is thinking about having a new beginning here with you. I don't know. I feel like this person does want to come back, but you're blocking this person out. Tell me about the outcome and advice here for Libra regarding their situation, their love situation for the uh, month of August 2022. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sun. What else is... Uh, um, what else does um, Libra need to know? Virgo energy, pre-empress energy with that nine of pentacles here. So, you know, I feel like this person is single or pretending to be single. I don't know. It seems like maybe this person is dealing with a, a couple of people and maybe they're scared that you'll find out their secret. But I feel like the secret was found out already. Yeah. The Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the Knight of Cups. We have Five of Cups and the Lovers. And then we have the Page of Pentacles and the King of Cups. I don't know. I feel like someone here might be coming towards you for some sort of, like, for an apology or something like that. Someone here could be spying on you. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini with the Page of Swords, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the Five of Cups here and the Lovers here. Whoever this is, someone here is definitely having some sort of regrets here. Okay, about a connection that you have with this person. I mean, like I said, this is a soulmate connection. Gemini energy with that lovers. We have the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the King of Cups. Uh, we have the Kings and Queen of Cups, by the way. We have some true pairs here. It, it seems like someone here is not okay with the separation. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, someone here is looking to apologize or something like that. 
Perhaps one person does not want to separate the Page of Swords and the Death card, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Hermit. I mean, we have someone here that's doing some sort of soul searching, or that someone here is definitely going through like some sort of transformation, or some sort of change here. Seems like uh, this person is willing to make changes so that they could be with you. Tell me about the Five of Cups. We have the Wheel of Fortune, the Lovers, Gemini Energy, um, and, uh, uh, and the Ace of Swords. It seems like an energy of like what goes around comes around. This person could be experiencing some sort of karma here. Yeah. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles here. Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sage, the King of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. Emotionally, we have someone here that's really overwhelmed. Emotionally, they're not doing well here. It seems like they're trying to come back. Wherever this is, this is an individual that's feeling alone and abandoned, they, they, and they miss you, okay? Yeah, whoever this is, this person's just really depressed, insecure, feeling abandoned, feeling left alone. Yeah, someone here wants to come back. But like I said, I feel like someone here is blocking this. Someone here is moving on. And I feel like that person that's moving on is you, um, Libra. Yeah, I feel I keep getting energy that you love this person, but at the same time, you can't be with them. So, yeah, I feel like there's an energy of like what goes around comes around. And I feel like this individual that we're dealing with is making some big changes here. You know, whether you believe it or not, you know. And keep in mind, these are general messages, okay? Uh, I'm not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, so Libra, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys uh, in the next one. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.